Hi all, Mohit this side. In this demo, we will be seeing how to build a language neutral IT service management system. So as always, I'm taking ServiceNow as an ITSM suite and we'll see how ServiceNow dynamically translates between different languages. So in this demo, a user from Germany will create a ticket in obviously in German language. ServiceNow should dynamically translate between this German language to English and should be updated in the work notes. As an extension to this demo, any update in this ticket will be sent as a notification to the user in his local language. The response is captured in local language, will be translated back to English and will be updated in ServiceNow. So let's start the demo. So basically, I'm a German user and I want to create a new incident in German language. So let me start off by filling the mandatory fields. So as an example case, I'm taking a high incident where uh, Wi-Fi is not working in Frankfurt data center. So that's the issue I'm facing. So let me create a ticket in a foreign language and a description that it's not working in any of the floors. So we can see uh, Google Translate uh, so that uh, you can understand that I'm not lying. On a click of submit, on click of submit, uh, ServiceNow should dynamically translate this back to English and should be updated as work notes in this ticket. Let's see how it goes. So it should ideally take less than a second. And you can see that uh, the short description and the description has been translated to English and this updated in the work notes. So as mentioned to an extension to this demo, any update to this ticket, any work notes or comments update to this ticket will be translated back to the input language. In this case, it's German and will be sent as a notification to the user because business users normally don't use service now all the time. So they prefer a notification mechanism that it be mail, let it be SMS or an IVR call. So in this demo, we'll be using a telegram. So any update in this ticket will be translated back to the foreign language German and will be sent to the telegram uh, group. A response in the telegram will be captured, translated back to English and will be updated in service now. Let's see how it works. Now an engineer checks this and he says there is no issue. I want to talk to the user. So please update your contact details. So as soon as I update the ticket, this will be translated into German and will be sent to the user in his telegram channel. So let's see, I'm updating it. And you can see that I got a telegram notification here from the virtual buddy, which is the service now boot and I got something in German. Let's use Google Translate to translate this. So type it here. Copy this. Translate into English. I can see that it's please update your contact details which was our work notes in service now. Now let me update the contact details in my local language because I always prefer communicating in my local language. So let me reply back. Service now should ideally pick this update, translate it back to English and provide it as an update in service now. So let's refresh the ticket. Ideally, we should get the response. Please connect me at this. That's what I have typed here. 
So let's see if service now is picking the update from Telegram and translating it back. Let me reload the form. Let's wait for a couple of seconds. And we can see a new update. Please connect me at which was passed from this Telegram. So the demo not only shows you how to translate any language dynamically using the service now, it also gives a brief introduction on communicating to a third party tool like service now to Telegram. Please subscribe the channel to see the tutorial which is coming soon. Thank you.